I'm Ian Somerville and in this video I'm going to be introducing the essential dependability property of security. I think of security as a system property that reflects a system's ability to protect itself against malicious external attack, although it should also be able to protect itself against accidental events that could cause damage. Security is one of the four dependability properties that I've discussed in other videos. Availability, reliability, safety and security. And security in some ways is the most central of these properties as it interacts with all of the other properties. Security is essential nowadays as virtually all systems are networked, connected to the internet and hence potentially accessible from anywhere in the world. And we need systems to be secure if they're going to be available, reliable and safe. There are three classes of damage that can result from insecurity. There's a damage to the system's availability through a denial of service attack where the aim of the attack is to take the system down and make sure that it's not accessible to its legitimate users. There's damage to the digital information, the programs and data in the system so that the attack attempts to corrupt or to destroy these in some way. And sometimes this is combined with a, a blackmail attempt where a threat is made to destroy the information in the hope that the users will pay up. And there's the loss or the theft of confidential information, which may then be used for other purposes. So if credit card numbers, for example, are stolen, then this may be used to make malicious purchases elsewhere. As with the other dependability properties, there is some specialist terminology used when people are talking about security. An asset is something that has to be protected, such as a computer system or its data. An example would be the medical records of people receiving treatment in a hospital. Exposure is the possible loss or harm that can result from a security failure. To continue the medical records example, the exposure might be a loss of reputation for the hospital. It might be a loss of business as patients refuse to go there and seek treatment elsewhere. Or it might be costs of legal action as patients seek redress for the hospital losing their information. A vulnerability is some kind of weakness in a system that can cause loss or harm. And this can be a, a technical vulnerability such as a programming error or it can be a design vulnerability, say the use of weak passwords, which can be easily guessed by attackers. An attack is where some malicious outsider or insider exploits a vulnerability to gain access to a system. An example of an attack using a medical record system would be the impersonation of a legitimate user using stolen passwords to gain access to the system. A threat is a precursor to an attack. It's a, an exploitation of a system vulnerability. So it's something that could happen, but need not necessarily happen. So it's the possibility that weak passwords could be exploited to gain access to a system. A control is a protective measure that attempts to reduce a system's vulnerability. A use of a password checking system which tells users that they have set a weak password would be uh, an instance of a control that might be included in a system. As with both safety and reliability, the most effective way to ensure that problems don't arise is to avoid them in the first place. The most important way to avoid problems is to avoid vulnerabilities. Vulnerability avoidance is an essential for system safety achievement. 
We must accept that it's impossible to avoid all vulnerabilities. And as I discuss in my videos on cybersecurity, because systems are socio-technical systems, technical measures alone cannot guarantee that a system will be secure. We need to put in place attack, detection and elimination features where from within the system we can detect an attack and we can take actions to eliminate that attack before it causes damage. An exposure limitation and recovery is analogous to damage limitation in safety critical systems where we put in place measures that allow us to get back up and running quickly after an attack has disrupted normal system operation. In summary then, security is a system property that reflects a system's ability to protect itself from malicious attacks. Security is essential for reliability, availability and safety. The damage that can arise from security or from insecurity rather is a denial of service, corruption of programs and data and the loss of confidential information. And to achieve security we use strategies such as vulnerability avoidance, attack detection and elimination and exposure limitation and recovery. You can download the slides that accompany this video from my SlideShare account.